if this were a play, which it isn't, it would be what you call a two-hander. What do you mean? A two-hander. Two characters, you and me. But we have four hands. One, two, three, four! <laughs> I can count, thank you. Or if each of us only had one hand, well then it'd be a theater for amputees. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is that when you... I heard what you're saying. What difference does it make how many hands we've got? Never mind. It's a theater thing. Which is why I don't understand it. You ordered us a ride, didn't you? I thought I did. I have so much trouble with these damn apps. This is an airport, Jack. There's a line of taxis right over there just waiting. We can take one of those, but no! Technology wins again. I either ordered an Uber or some KFC. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind if a car showed up with fried chicken. Wouldn't have to take us anywhere. Just bring chicken. I'm starving. Did you eat on the plane? Pretzels are not a meal. <laughs> I always buy a sandwich to take on the plane. Oh, why so many restaurants in an airport anyway? They've got a barbecue place in there. If I want barbecue, I'll go to one of those hole-in-the-wall joints where the workers lick the sauce off their elbows. <laughs> <laughs> you could have shared my sandwich, Jorma, but you wouldn't sit with me, your own brother. Did you have to make such a big deal about switching seats so we could sit together? It was worth a shot. There was a line of people. That poor woman at the gate was on her last nerve, and you're whining, could you just drink one more time? By the time we got on the airplane, you had pissed off so many people, no one would trade seats with you. It was like traveling with a porcupine. What is your problem? I'm happy as hell to see you. This is a great chance for us to reconnect. Forgive me for not doing a little dance, but my ex-wife just died. Our ex-wife? Each of us had been married to her. <laughs> but did we have to find out at her funeral? <laughs> Imagine my surprise to walk into the service and see you. I don't have to imagine. That thump you heard when you walked in was my jaw hitting the floor. <laughs> How could we not know? Why didn't she tell us? Maybe she didn't know. Oh, she knew all right. That guy at the funeral home said it was her last wish that we both show up. Yeah. He told me that too. She knew all kinds of things you wouldn't think she'd know. I think she was psychic. That's one explanation. But being married to the both of us, never said a word. Brenda and I were married for 10 wonderful years. Hey, 10 out of 15, that's not bad. Sorry, old joke. We were married for four years. If it was so wonderful for you, how come it didn't last? I think I got on her nerves. What a surprise. <laughs> I wore out her patience too. She didn't like it when I go to buy beer. Have we gone for two weeks? <laughs> Did you know she was sick? You know how she was. She'd never admit anything was wrong with her, even if her head was in a toilet. But how could she not tell us about us? She didn't say much about her family. I didn't say much about mine. About ours? Right, ours. Not that there's much to say. It's not like we grew up together. They split up. I went with Dad. You went with Mom. No, I went with Dad, and you went with Mom. <laughs> really? No. Really. <laughs> I can see where you might get confused. Mom came over a lot, but she would rarely bring you with her. And it seemed like Dad was coming to our place all the time, but 
you were hardly ever with him. Were they trying to keep us apart? Maybe they wanted us to establish our own identities. It's like we were some sort of social experiment. We expect mom and dad were refugees from the 60s. Psych majors, no less. I don't know how many times I had to tell people we're named after members of the Jefferson Airplane. No, it's not an airline. It's a band. And it's Yorma, not Jorma. I even had it printed on my business cards. Ah, Yorma in parentheses. I have 200 of those printed. Leaves me with 198. <laughs> well, who else did you give one to? Uh, no one. I uh, used it to pick some popcorn out of my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I always liked your name. It's more distinctive than plain old Jack. I wish I had your name. Who doesn't want a cool name like Jack? Jack London, Jack Kerouac, Jack Nicholson. Jack the Ripper. <laughs> Wait, is this your home address? That's less than a mile from my house. There goes the neighborhood. <laughs> How could we have gone this long without seeing each other, even by mistake? You'd think that we'd at least run into each other at the grocery store or the mall. One good thing about the pandemic, it showed me there was no need for shopping. I rarely leave the house. If I can't have it delivered, it's dead to me. <laughs> but you showed up for this. It's Brenda. How could I not? Besides, you can't have a funeral delivered. <laughs> but we still wound up so close. Physically, anyway, it's like we had some homing instinct. Living in the same city, married to the same woman, if you can When read. did the two of you get divorced? Oh, about five years ago. When? We got married about five and a half years ago. So, for about six months, you and I were married to Brenda at the same time. I don't know. I never did the math. Well, until now, we didn't know there was math to do. <laughs> Isn't that like big of me? <laughs> I'd say that's big of both of us. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sorry. I make old jokes at inappropriate times. I mean, is that even legal? What? She had to get the divorce first. She was never big on paperwork. Oh, I'll say. We got into trouble because she wouldn't get around to signing an important document. She kept rubbing it with a quarter. Maybe she thought it was a scratch card. It was our tax return. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing how she was, I can't help but think she had some sort of plan being married to the both of us concurrently. Did she ever write out a script for you after an argument? Yeah. She'd just drop the argument, leave the room, and come back with a script all written out. A two-hander. And you wonder why I don't like the theater. And it was her way of ending the argument while still covering the important points. Yeah, the points that were important to her. It was her way of not letting us get a word in. She didn't want us to go off script. Which reminds me, did the the uh, funeral guy give you something in an envelope? Yeah. Why? <laughs> I was going to wait till I got home to read it, but... <laughs> what is this? <laughs> it's a script. <laughs> Still up to her old tricks. I've got the first line, so I, I'll start. <clears throat> <laughs> if this were a play, which it isn't, it would be a two-hander. <laughs> really? And, um, uh, is that how you're going to do it? It's not an audition, just... <laughs> Breathe. I don't understand anything about theater. 
No kidding. But did either of us understand anything about Brenda? Probably not as much as we thought. But she loved us. We should both be sure of that. I bet she hated the idea of divorcing either one of us. Although in your case, it probably wasn't that hard. There's no ad limit. Ten years for me, only four <laughs> years for you. Do that math. <laughs> but after that time, I came home with beer, and she she noticed the receipt was from a store 300 miles away. She knew what she had to do. 300 miles? Are you kidding me? I drink a particular brand, and it's very hard to find. <laughs> the only thing worse than a wine snob is a beer snob. Can we just get through this? She loved us too much to give up either one of us, but eventually she had to. She was going out of her mind, and her mind was a pretty unusual place. Ain't that the truth? A little respect for our dead ex-wife, please. <laughs> I, I'm here, aren't I? We didn't know this, but Brenda did some research into our family and knew we were raised almost totally unconnected. She hoped we would figure it out on our own. Apparently we needed some help with that. Research, did you know? No, no, not me, but now that I think about it, sometimes she was on Ancestry.com. So now there's a good chance we're at an airport that has an excellent barbecue restaurant. Oh, come on! <laughs> I'm starting to believe this psychic stuff. Keep reading. <laughs> But the main thing is, we're, we're together. <laughs> Yorma, she knew you couldn't stay at home too long. You felt cooped up. So you had to go out for beer. In another state? <laughs> but she liked your jokes, even if they were poorly timed. <laughs> And Jack, even though Brenda would get mad with you sometimes. Uh, irritated. Irritated <laughs> with you sometimes. She knew you had a good heart. Anal. Oh, please. I was good. <laughs> but now we know we're not alone. We shouldn't forget who we are and what we have in common and how much time we can still share. Speaking of sharing, we should share a cab, <clears throat> but not an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> you have to wait for them. Let's take a taxi. It's better to know someone will be waiting <coughs> to take you home. There's a script for the cab driver. <laughs> <laughs>